we go. Look at the size of this creature. Oh. If I can get back up the bank. Is a big creek chub. Whoa. Oh, God, going it on a rooster tail. Nice creek chub. Let's see how long it is, real quick. Uh, I haven't been able to fish this creek in a couple months because of the drought. And I'm trying it again for the first time. Uh, I'm glad y'all could be with me for another episode of Rob's West Virginia Bass Fishing. Uh, this creek chub is eight and three quarter inches long. Got uh, 67 degree water. I just caught this on a rooster tail. Uh, water levels back to normal like I said it's 66 degrees it's down about 20 degrees since from before the rain <sighs> yep that was pretty fun that's the first fish I've caught out here in a couple months I've been getting hits for a couple of casts. This is probably what was doing it. A little green sunfish action on Bitsy Minnow. Don't you put that hook in me. <sighs> Help if I can see what I was doing. Got it. Don't you do it. <sighs> nice to be able to fish the creek again. It's finally flowing after almost two months. Got normal water level. Temperature's dropped 10 degrees though since the last time, so. There it goes. Now that's a good sunfish. Heck yeah. That's about as big as they get in this little creek. Ooh. 
Got both hooks of that bitsy minnow. Mmm. There's a nice green sunfish from this creek. Baby bass colored. Strike King Bitsy Minnow. Mmm. Oh. Let's see here. Mm. Oh no, no. It's hard work on a creek bank. Eight and a half inches. Nice. Little green sunfish. That's fish number three. Two for the bitsy minnow, one for the rooster tail. Got one first cast here, Cole. Oh, it's a bass. No, it's not. It's creek chub. Another creek chub. Fish number four. Only about half the size of that first one I caught. That going. That lip trick doesn't work like it does with bass. All right, get out of here. Oh, yeah, as soon as it hit the water. Now, this is a bass. Nope, it's another creek chub. My gosh, look at the size of that thing. This thing's probably as big as the first one I caught. They look like bass before you get them out of the water because that stripe on the side of them. Daggone it. They won't stay still. Okay, let's get turned loose. That's fish number five, I think. Another creek chub. <sighs> Bitsy Minnow's wearing them creek chubs out this evening. <sighs> All right, go on back. Fish number six, I think. Rock 
bass. All right. Got a little rock bass just before dark. I might have to quit fishing here shortly. A rock bass on the bitsy minnow. Hey, hey, oh, oh. Oh man. <sighs> Had to clean him up for the picture. Nice little rock bass. Six and a half, six and five eighths. And little rock bass, away it goes. Bluegill, this one isn't no green sunfish. Uh, on the bitsy minnow. Yeah, it is two green sunfish. But I think I'm going to call it an evening with this fish. Uh, it's about five minutes till seven, seven o'clock, and it's getting too dark to video. So, this will be a nice way to end it. Nice little green sunfish. Baby bass colored Strike King Bitsy Minnow. And my Shakespeare Xfinity con no. It's Shakespeare Cirrus combo. Xfinity is my lose combo. It's got the eight pound test strand line on it. That's what it came. That's what came on it. And so I hope y'all like this video. And uh, if you're new to the channel, maybe uh, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, give it a like, thumbs up, and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, we're going to get this fish back in the water and uh, try to get another video done soon. And away it goes.